who wants to go through life all along and not know who they are so hey guys what's up welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is ariel janae make sure you like this video comment and subscribe today's video i decided to talk about as you can see from the title knowing yourself um this is a very important topic that i feel like a lot of people probably ask themselves or are interested in so yeah i want to talk about it so basically knowing yourself is very very important um every year i try to think of a word that sets the tone for my year and this year my word is authenticity which is really just being true to yourself being who you are not caring what other people think walking in your truth basically being real with yourself in your truth not being afraid to do so but how can you do that if you do not know yourself first because you could be living in someone else's truth you could be living how your mom and dad wanted you to live how your grandma grandpa uncles aunts sisters brothers doing things the way that other people want you to live but it's not until you actually know who you are that you can walk in your truth so if you're interested in learning more about this just stay tuned <laughs> yourself get to know yourself um there are spiritual ways there are more hands-on physical ways so i'm kind of going to separate those out for you guys when you know yourself you nobody can't steer you off your path nobody can't tell you about yourself because guess what you already know yourself like how are you going to tell me about myself like i know myself i know my worth i know what god placed in my heart and my mind and can't nobody tell me anything different so it's so important to know yourself because we don't want to be steered by people who don't even want what's best for us who you know who want us to not succeed who want the worst for us so we could be miserable just like them because misery loves company so make sure that you are working to know yourself and learn yourself on the daily so whatever someone says to you it's not going to matter make you doubt your path it's not going to make you doubt your purpose understand your path because it wasn't given to them it was given to you you should always um always listen to god and what god says before you listen to people what does god say about you what does god think about you and what do you think about yourself basically um don't expect people to understand your journey it wasn't given to you by them it was given to you by god so yeah okay point number two is when you know yourself you can transform and learn and grow into all god has called you to be and that's perfect point number three is when you know yourself you can live a happy and fulfilled peaceful joyous life some things you can do with that is you can um, nurture your inner child and you also put a high value on your mental health mental health is so important a lot of people don't really um Pay attention to that until it's too late. So definitely make sure you're um, focused on your, men your mental health. You're putting yourself first. You're doing things for you and never putting other people before yourself. Point number four, when you know yourself, you won't surround yourself with the wrong people. Um, you'll make better choices with friends. You won't entertain just anybody. You'll want to be around like-minded people, people who are going where you want to go, people who, you know, just have the same standards, have the same goals and things like that therefore you won't be around um more people who are like manipulative people who use you you just won't be around negative people you know your value will just be so high that you're just like i'm not even putting myself in that situation so mm -mm. as soon as you see a red flag as soon as you see somebody's doing stuff to you or only trying to get stuff from you you're going the other way point number five is when you trust yourself you have faith basically you put your trust in god and nothing is, or no one is gonna um stop you from that faith nothing is gonna make you stop believing in god and stop trusting god and yeah 
pretty much unmovable that you trust god or whatever higher power you believe in and you just have so much faith in them that nothing can shake you what nobody says can shake you what nobody does can shake you you still have even if it's that little bit of hope that little bit of faith that little ounce of faith that you need to like because you know as a person as a human being you are going to have negative thoughts but it's how you um control them it's how your mindset is that can get you out of those mindsets because i get down too i get I wouldn't necessarily say depressed, but I definitely do get down. But all of the knowledge I know, all of the positive sayings, positive quotes, scriptures, and stuff that I grew up with always is in the back of my mind. And I try to always feed myself that type of stuff. And that's what helps me get through um, things. And I'm always just speaking it. And I'm just like, God, I know you have a purpose for me. I know that everything's going to be okay um yeah just be positive um through it all and know you're gonna get through whatever you're going through. trust god more than um what you see and what's going on around you pray more where we less trust more where we less more faith less fear all of that know yourself i feel like you'll take more risks um because you you know who you are and you're not afraid of failure when you know yourself you understand how unique you are how special you are how loved you are um by god by whatever higher power you believe in whatever you call it um yeah you just know and you have that much faith to go for it the last point point number six is you won't care who you lose as long as you don't lose yourself um and that's so important through life you're going to have friends you're gonna lose friends and things like that and yeah it hurts it does hurt to lose people that you love who have been in your life for a long time because you're comfortable with them but um you shouldn't you know let that keep you down you should always be thinking like you know everything happens for a reason god is gonna place some more people in my life you know um and things like that but your peace your um happiness yourself should always be put before everything and everybody else you never want to lose yourself um just because people walked out of your life that that means you were dependent upon those people so that means you're a codependent person and you don't want to be a codependent person um because i'm sure that's trigger warning but um that's probably why a lot of people end up committing suicide and things like that because you know probably caring about what people think you're dependent on other people to make you happy and you can't do that you have to make your own self happy because everything stems from you that's why this thing is called self-confidence um self-love everything starts with you and it ends with you so put that love in yourself first you can't forgive somebody if you can't forgive yourself you can't love somebody if you don't love yourself so a yeah. list of some spiritual ways to know yourself and some practical ways to know yourself i guess i will start with the practical ways to know yourself first so um the first thing you can do is journal so get a journal like this i actually want to get a bigger journal like the journal like the notebooks we use in school i think i'm gonna buy one of those but yeah um definitely get a journal and just write write your thoughts write your your goals write your dreams right just anything you want anything that's on your mind um people are always talking about having a dream book um something to journal your um dreams near your bed because you know dreams are so easy to forget um so definitely keep one by your bed because it can have some symbolism in there so definitely keep a pen and notebook by your bed so that you can write um your dreams and stuff and then you can google it and look it up and see what it means and stuff like that but yeah, um, write some, write your curiosities, write your questions, um, write about your childhood, write about your life. Um, I took this psychology class in college. I forgot what it's called off the top of my head. If I remember it, I'll put it, um, when I edit this video. But yeah, I took a psychology class and it was so life changing. I didn't realize it then when I was in that class, but when I looked back, like, um, uh, 
I don't know when, like a while ago, and I thought about that class and that teacher, and I was so mad that I couldn't find that paper or I couldn't find the syllabus, which has all the coursework and stuff in there for the year. I was so mad because that was the best paper ever. Like that helped me know myself even more. And if you didn't know, I was a psychology major in college. Um, so yeah, I'm a very mental person. I love the mind and thoughts and all that type of stuff. But yeah, I took the class and we wrote about, she had us write about pretty much our lives. So I was able to write about my childhood. I was able to write about like my parents' relationship growing up, how I was affected by that. Write about like our religious beliefs. I was able to just write about just everything. Write about growing up in school, write about my relationships and things like that. And it was just like really eye-opening when I actually like started going in detail about those things. Especially the relationship part, because I love relationships and I love talking about that. People, but the next one is um, make lists of things. Make lists of things you love about yourself. That's so important, because self-love is so important and knowing yourself is so important so definitely make a list of the things that you love about yourself it might sound so small so minor but sometimes you don't think about that sometimes you don't give yourself enough credit so make a list physically make a list nothing like write, putting pen to paper write it out so you can physically see it so you can keep that in your mind so that when you are around somebody if you happen to be around somebody because tests will come and things will happen and people come into your life for a reason so somebody tries to tell you about yourself, you already know. And can't nobody tell you nothing. So yeah, definitely do that. Write down a list of strength and strengths and weaknesses. Things you need to work on. Um, think about it. You do that when you have a job. When you have a job interview, they might ask you what's your strengths and your weaknesses. Yada yada yada. So definitely you want to know your strengths and your weaknesses. That's very important. And it's always good to turn your weaknesses into a strength. So if you have a weakness, make sure you come back and say something, how you're working on that to make that a strength. So that's something else you could write down. Um, write out your beliefs. Because um, your beliefs change from time to time. Spiritual, religious, however you want to look at it. Write out your beliefs and write out the things that you kind of question. Because it's natural to question things. I don't want anybody to ever make you feel like it's not natural to question things. It's not natural to be curious about things. So yeah, write that stuff out. And see if you still align with those beliefs and those curiosities and things like that. So yeah, this is really just a lot of writing type things. Another thing you can do is pay attention to those around you who love you. Pay attention to what they say about you. Because if you have good people in your life, they're going to tell you the stuff that they love about you. Like, they're going to encourage you. They're going to lift you up. They're going to tell you, oh, you're such a great listener. I love how you encourage others. I love, like, really listen to those people and because their opinions matter. Um, but they, of course, shouldn't be above yours. But definitely pay attention to that. That can help you build yourself up and let you know you're going, you're on the right path. You're maybe who you um think that you are you want to make sure that you know you're not just thinking like i'm just such a good person yada 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 but you don't have no fruits no um stuff showing that actually so yeah listen to what people say about you the positive things i mean listen to the negative things too because yeah you should be able to take criticism and stuff like that loving criticism and things like that you don't want to be just a person who just you know always want to hear good stuff about yourself you should want to hear you know so yeah, that's why I said the people that you trust and people that you love, for sure. There's books with the writing prompts in them. Definitely invest in some writing prompt books. I know Target has a lot of them, but usually they don't have them physically in store. But you can get them, um, order them online from Target. But yeah, there's a whole lot of writing prompt books. It's kind of like how I was saying, that was the journal was kind of like more like freeform. But the um, writing prompts will kind of ask you questions that you probably can't think of off the top of your head. So definitely get some writing prompt books because those are great things to have. They can help you with your past, your present, your future, and things like that. So definitely get some writing prompt books. I recommend that. Okay, now I'm going to get into the spiritual ways to know yourself. You do not have to do these. If you want to just listen to some of them that I list, you can. But yeah, these, not, no pressure. You don't have to do them. But if you're curious, go ahead. This is, this is what life is all about. Go after those 
curiosities in life, okay? Try it. You never know where it might lead you. Some spiritual things to know yourself are, of course, spiritual texts, the Bible, the Quran, whatever it is that you believe in. Um, definitely read those spiritual texts. I'm sure they're encouraging you. I'm sure they can help you build yourself up to have words in there that are powerful and uplifting. So read those texts. They're going to tell you about who you are, about your um, your destiny, your future, your having hope. It's going to tell you that type of stuff. So read those. Or read... Um, if you're not really into that type of stuff, more religious texts, read um, books. That could have been in a practical one too, but either way, for both, the books, read more books. I need to read more books. I don't read like that. I would honestly rather get into Audible. I think I might start trying to do like podcasts, listen to podcasts and stuff. I listen to more like YouTube videos and stuff like that. But um, more encouraging YouTube videos. But yeah, just definitely read. Reading is fundamental. Um, Knowledge is power. Knowledge is just everything. So read. Um, there are also things that you can look up. These are for fun, but also if you just want to do them. But these are just, um, how can I say it? This is stuff that is just a stepping stone. You don't want to use these as a crutch and hold on to them, but it's definitely a stepping stone. So like, um, you can look, look up your life path number. Um, it has to do with like adding up your birthday and things like that. I'll have it on the screen so I don't um, mess it up because I don't really know it off the top of my head. But you're pretty much adding up your birthday. So your birthday month, your birthday day, and your year and things like that. So yeah. Yeah, look up your life path number if you're interested in that type of stuff like astrology, um, numerology, things like that. Um, numerology is used in all type of religion numbers are important i believe i mean we're given a birthday and that's an important day and if you really think about it it's like why wouldn't those numbers have purpose and meaning into them so if you're interested in that type of stuff try looking up your life path number um if you're interested in astrology you can look up your birth chart um there's more to it so like i'm a taurus sun uh, i'm not gonna list everything else that i am but i am a taurus sun and if you know your birth time, not I don't think everybody has to know their birth time depending on where you were born and I guess the degrees of, I don't know, the planets and stuff and the moon and things like that. Um, you probably, sometimes you don't have to know your birth time, but for the most part, I think you have to know your birth time. And on my birth certificate, there is no birth time up there. So I think I had to ask my mom and she happened to tell me what my birth time was. So I was able to figure out my chart and I was able to, um, read it so i'm gonna leave a link or i'm gonna put it on the screen what website you can go to for that to look up your birth chart if you're interested to see more about your signs and it can give you a kind of let you know about yourself this is something good to check out just for fun as well um as well as that at your soul urge number this is something i just came across this year the other stuff i kind of came across in 2019 the end of 2019 into 2020 and soul urge number i just learned about that i think maybe a little bit last year into this year somewhere around there um so yeah you can look that up too i'm sure that has to kind of do with some numbers birthday or something too um um also again make sure you're praying whether you want to whoever you pray to if you just pray you can pray to god you can pray to whoever you can just pray in general and just, I don't know, just pray. <laughs> just be, um, ask for things, pray for more things, you know, getting out your thoughts and stuff is pretty much what praying is, you know. But yeah, definitely want to show that you're thankful and I guess ask for things in the same way. Life to me is all about balance. Take the good with the bad and everything like that in between um so yeah pray meditate do whatever works best for you manifest um script write down things as though as not as though they are write down um things that you want make a vision board definitely make a vision board i have to do mine it's never too late to do this stuff that's another thing just because the new year is pretty much gone it's never really not 
It doesn't matter, basically. It doesn't matter. Just do it anyways. Um, yeah, pay attention to signs. Like, God is talking to us every day, leaving us signs. It's just the fact that we're not paying attention. Or maybe you're not ready. Maybe it's not the time for you to pay attention. Because I believe in divine timing. Everything happens. Um, when God is ready for it to happen, when it's supposed to happen. So, yeah, if you're not noticing it now, don't worry. When you're meant to notice it, you will notice it. So, yeah. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to numbers. Pay attention to whatever. If you see a random thing, I mean, I like to Google. I like to look stuff up. I don't know if that's because I went to college or what. Probably not. I'm sure there's people who didn't go to college who still do it. But because in college I had to do a lot of research and look stuff up so I'm just that type of person like I don't mind ooh what is, this happened what does this mean oh I saw this oh I saw this bird what does this mean oh I had this dream what does this mean google it this um information is, just, is at your fingertips for a reason so definitely utilize it to so whatever signs you get signs can come in different ways animals anything pay attention dreams anything um yeah pay attention to the synchronicities you see you might have a dream multiple times you might see an animal random animal multiple times every time you go to this place you might pay attention to patterns and you know that with people too pay attention to the patterns you see with people if they're not you know um if they're doing the same things over and over again and not matching up with their words then put two and two together and you know but this video is not about that i'm going off on a tangent oh and before i go i just want to leave you guys with a word of advice um i just want you guys to trust your path to trust your journey um like i said your journey your path your destiny um your future is god given it's given to you by god you are here for a reason don't ever doubt that you're here for a reason don't ever doubt that you're not here for a reason be patient with the process. Trust the process. It's not here to hurt you. It's not here to harm you. Yes, bad things are going to happen to you. It's unfortunate. But we all go through things in this life. And it's helped to make you grow. It's helped to teach you lessons that you're meant to learn in this life. But guess what? Um, even if you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be, even if you feel like you're behind and you're looking to the left and the right and you're looking to other people and them being more ahead of you more advanced than you just know that you're always right where you need to be go where you're guided go when you're ready go when you feel it's right go when you get those inklings and those nudges or yeah like i said be curious um Yep, but trust your intuition, never doubt it, trust your inklings. Take risks, take risks. Because you don't want to leave this earth wondering what if. What if I would have did this? What if I would have did that? Um, you don't have to think that because you're just going to take risks anyways. So you're not going to be that person. Now don't compare yourself to others. We are all on different paths. We are all, you know, finding our way through life, finding our path. Um, so no one knows what God told you. No one knows the signs God gave you. Nobody knows the conversations you had with God, the cries, the tears, the struggles that you faced. Nobody knows it but you. What's meant for you is not meant for the next person. What works for you doesn't work for the other person. What my purpose may not be the same purpose as yours. So yeah, lastly, purpose is not no more better than my purpose. My purpose is no more better than your purpose. We're here to help each other. We all make the world. We're all making the world go round by you know putting out good into the world by putting out love and you know peace and all those good things. Um, so yeah, we're all aiding in growth in life. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, be sure to leave any video ideas you have below, below any topic ideas you have below. Um, be sure to be interactive in the comment section. Comment if you have any more um, tips or advice or, I don't know, anything helpful, anything loving that you want to comment in this video. I just want to have a community where we help each other, we love each other, and uplift each other. I'm all about that. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so I think I'm going to call this segment like couch conversations. Let me know if you like that topic. Um, yeah, any psychological topics you have that have to do more with the mind, relationships, yada, yada, yada. Leave those below, but honestly, I'm going to um, go off my intuition and go off what spirit is giving me. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. I want to do more of these videos. I'm going to try to get out of my fear because I, I fear stuff too, but I try to take risks and everything like that. Sorry for my pen. It's annoying you. But yeah, I'll try to take as many risks as possible because I don't want to leave this earth not doing what I feel I'm being guided to do and what I'm being guided to share. And I hope I'm encouraging you to do the same, just living your truth and to, you know, live a more fulfilled, emotionally fulfilled, spiritually fulfilled just overall fulfilled life. So yeah. Bye guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Oh, it's too high. I think it's too high. I'm sure the lighting in this video is going to be all type of crazy because the sun is, I think it's setting at this moment. It's so beautiful. I wish I could show you guys, but yeah.